Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some more photoshopping cars. Um, last episode went down an absolutely storm, uh, an absolute storm. Sorry, uh, said that a bit wrong. Uh, but I appreciate all the support. It's been amazing. Uh, I've got my YouTube account back now, so I'll continue doing these um, until the point where uh, you guys don't want to see it anymore. So it's going to be going for a very long time, I think. Uh, so I've made a um, a new thingy, 1920 by 1080, uh, nice wallpaper size. Um, that's the first thing I want to get sorted this one. I want to make it a wallpaper size. Um, I've already downloaded the the um, car. I've saved it in my Photoshop folder here and it is an S2000 so it's going to be pretty pretty fun. Uh, this photo is quite big as standard. Oh god can it fit? Yeah it can fit. Okay. Um, it's like 4000 times 2000 this photo so it's got a nice 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 um, what should we call it um, nice um, quality about it um, looks quite nice as well so that's cool uh, we've got a nice base picture to here to start on so the first thing you want to do really is lower the car so I'm gonna go ahead and lower the car and see how this goes okay so there we go we've got rid of the bottom um, part of the car so all we need to do now is press the down arrow and we can slam this um, obviously it's not looking the best right now we can fix it um, it's looking very very tucked so let's go right a tiny bit there we go we've got a little bit more of a stance feel now um, that looks absolutely sick um, it feels the the front arch very very well and the rear one looks pretty good as well so I think I'm gonna go for a, I think I'm gonna go for that um, I tried to cut this picture um, as you could probably see I tried to cut it along uh, these kind of lines because I didn't want to cut down through the middle of the line and it'll look pretty weird uh, so I've got to sort out the edges here um, I can go ahead and do that now uh, normally just do this with like a like a rubber or something make it quite big and make it with a nice um, kind of fade if you know what I mean and you just do this um, it's hard to hard to kind of notice it then it takes the sharpness of that line off uh, obviously you can see it here with the wall uh, which is kind of annoying uh, but if you try and fade it down like that so now it looks like it's a bigger wall uh, just simple stuff like that you, know, you can make it look so much better um, but yeah that just that looks fine like that actually because uh, it just looks like a bigger wall stepping down into a little one uh, so that's good um, anything else that needs to get sorted here no I think that's pretty much about it to be honest uh, so I'm just gonna sort that little bit out there but that's looking okay oh crap I forgot about this but if we just do that yeah that doesn't look too bad it just looks like it's a little bit of a hill and it's going down it um, that's okay that looks wicked um, yeah the car's stanced out now um, what we need to do now is look for some nice rims um, I like to start with rims um, so let's go onto Google what can we type first um, we just type, just type um, S2000 slammed okay uh, what I like to do here is you go into images here what I like to do is go to advanced search here at the top right and go down to here and choose a size larger than that because uh, then you always always get um, good quality pictures which is good uh, so we want a car facing away from us is that an, uh, the angle All right, let's just go like this quickly um, Is that the angle? I think that could be around. I think it's a little bit sharper though. It's kind of like that angle, but we need it to be backwards. Okay. So let's have a look through here uh, for a nice, nice picture to take these off of. Um, if we can't find the angle, that looks kind of cool. I think that's the angle we're going to go for here. Uh, but. Oh, well, that one that one looks okay too uh, but I think the black one's a little bit more suited at the moment I'll have a quick look further uh, but I think we're gonna go with the black one I think uh, that seemed about fine on the angle um, yeah I think we're gonna go with the black one it looked the the right angle in terms of height as well because obviously these are kind of looking down a little bit yeah, so if you get one that's level, uh, the wheels look a little bit strange. So 
Yeah, I'm going to go back up and go for the lows, I think. Yeah, I can't find any. Akeni Fiendi. I was going to go for that one then. But then I saw that the front wheel was turned. Which sucks balls. Um, so where's this black one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is she? There we go. So let's view image. On that. And uh, now we can make these bigger. Hallelujah. No, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit sharper that one. Okay. Could be some work to get the wheels to work on this one. It could be a lot of work. Uh, but let's copy this image and let's go over to here, file new, and let's just paste it in here. It feels a little bit sharper. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the wheels here. Um, and I'll be back in a sec. As you can see here, um, that car is completely the wrong, wrong angle. It just doesn't work. Um, you could probably try and modify this to make it fit, but to be honest, I think it's going to be more of a struggle trying to get this to work because that is just completely the wrong angle. It looks terrible. Um, I don't think I will actually ever get this to work, which kind of sucks because the wheels are quite nice. I like the wheels. Um, say that. If you say like that, it just doesn't look right at all. So I think I'm going to have to find another car here. Um, that is a problem with... Um, photoshopping cars you've got to get cars with the right angle if it's not the right angle um, it does turn does turn to kind of struggle a little bit um, so let's have another look I guess uh, let's press back um, okay it's a pretty weird angle actually to be fair so let's scroll down quite far see what we can see um, what's a nice angle they're either really kind of shallow like that, or it's a really steep angle, which is kind of annoying. We haven't got that in between that our car is. Um, oh, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. The struggles of photoshopping cars is right now. Um, okay, where is some? You could take these wheels. I think they could look quite cool in it. But then that's that's too shallow. Look at the difference. It's, it's not good enough. We've got to get the perfect angle here. It's annoying, but it has to be done. Um, I thought that one then, but that's also too sharp, I think. Yeah, that's too sharp. That's far too sharp, which is annoying. Not having too much luck here. Uh, I think we're gonna have to widen the search. I think. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to widen the search. Oh, come on, please, just be the perfect angle. Why you do this? I think the fact on that other picture was the fact that um See they kind of that looks kind of the right angle. Yeah, that looks fine. Um I'm not really a big fan on those wheels to be honest. Um but we can see how they look on here. We can see um, so the car looked quite far away in the picture, so I don't know in terms of how much quality these wheels are going to actually have. Um, uh, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. So let, let's crop these out, and I'll be back, hopefully, for a better one in the second. Okay, so there we go. I've got these wheels fitting absolutely delicious. They absolutely... They look amazing on this car. Wow, I didn't realise like the gold kind of effect would go well on this car, but it has. That looks absolutely sick. Not gonna lie. I'm really, really, really happy with that. Um, so, what I want to do next to this car, maybe. Um, I'm trying to think here. What, what can we actually do? Um, 
smooth over the badge maybe. Um, pretty hard decision this actually because this car looks pretty sweet how it is. I'm not gonna lie. Um, should we take off this, um, what should we call it? Yeah, that. <laughs> um, I never really took one of these off before, so if this goes a little bit wrong, then it's going to go wrong. <laughs> or we could make it a, a stubby aerial. Let's make it a stubby aerial. Kind of like that big. Let's see if this actually works. Let's just do fill. And then if we do content aware. Oh, shit. Wrong layout. So if we do content aware on here, do that again, content aware. Okay, that actually went very well. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you do this? Um, so, let me just do this quickly. Oh shit. I did not want to do that. That was the, completely the wrong fucking thing. Okay. Yeah, that won't work what I was just trying to do. So, let's zoom out and see what that looks like. Obviously it is... Um, square at the top which is kind of weird but um, I think we might be able to deal with that yeah that's fine that's fine little stubby aerial there um, should we smooth over this rear bit here um, the way I do this is basically just go like that and cover the area and then move it uh, to one that looks similar we want these lines because uh, obviously there's some uh, kind of shadows <laughs> bloody hell what, what no wrong button on it, and then you control C and then you control V and it will paste it over the top and all you do is move it like this um, so that's kind of around the same area uh, it's got the shadows in line which is good uh, so now what we can do is we can zoom in on the boot here and if we grab a rubber this is how I do it a lot of people do it different like feather the edges or whatever but I like to do it with a rubber uh, make it uh, make the hardness as low as you can uh, so it kind of fades out and you just go around the edges of this um, obviously you need to make your uh, rubber smaller if it starts taking it out like that so I'm just gonna make my rubber smaller just go around the edge of this just to take away the sharpness of the of the uh, the paste um, so let's just do that nope caught the edge okay it's just catching the edge there so we might have to leave that bottom bit Unless we do some little cheeky little clicks. Okay. And then do the same here. And that should be all gravy. There we go. Uh, so if we zoom out now. Obviously when you're zoomed in it does look a little bit suspect. But if you zoom out. You will not tell. You will not absolutely tell that. Uh, so that looks sick. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Um... I don't know what to do here because this car looks absolutely amazing how it is. I don't want to ruin the looks of this car. Uh, maybe in the future on other cars I'll do like body kits etc. Uh, but the way this car is slammed like that, um, there's no point putting a body kit. And I love the exhaust on this so I don't see the point of doing the exhaust. Um, in terms of the car I think I'm going to leave it where it is. Um, yeah I think I'm going to leave where it is. Okay, what I'm going to try and do here is what you could probably see on the screen. I've put a lens flare on, uh, but what I'm going to try and do is put kind of like a lens flare on the lights. See if it makes a nice effect with kind of like the lights lighting up, I guess. Um, that could look quite good. Um, I can't remember where I went. There we go. Lens flare. Lighting effects? What's this? I haven't seen this before. Um, I think I broke my Photoshop. Okay, what the... Okay, th let's cancel that. Okay, I fucked it up. Control Z. Please, please come back. Step backward. There we go. <laughs> Just step backwards. <laughs> All right. So let's try the lens flare. <laughs> okay, that was a new thing I've never used before. Uh, 105 Prime is what we want to use here. Um, I'm doing it on the wrong layer. Got to do it on this layer. Okay, filter. And now we do it again. Um, render. Lens flare. So if we do this and move it to around this area here, uh, 
And unfortunately, we can't colour it, which is kind of annoying. But if we put it on the on the white light there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Uh, I don't know, that doesn't look right. Uh, but we've got some nice stuff to try and find out in this. Uh, Photoshop, there's endless possibilities you can do. Uh, can do! Uh, but seeing as there's not much else we can do to this, um, I think I'm going to leave it where it is. Um, it looks pretty sick, to be fair. Uh, what we can do is take away this, actually. How did I not spot this before? So let's take away this. Um, here, it kind of looks the same. This could turn out a little bit dodgy, this one. Alright, let's do that, control V. And let's move this bad boy over. Okay, yeah, that does look a little bit dodgy. Hmm. Okay. How to work this. What we could do is rotate. Yes, that lines up with that now also, that's that. Now we just got to try and fade it in with the rubber. So we got that nice little line there. Try and connect those lines up there. That's that. Let's, oh god, too far. Let's try and make this little, little look a little bit better there. I want to try and take out as much as this as I can. Okay, we're un we're unhurving the indicator there. Uh, but in terms of this, it's actually turned out quite well. Yeah, so let's zoom back out and see if that looks a little bit dodgy dodge. No, that's fine. It continues the, the shadow line, which is good. Uh, what we can do now is I think I'm going to leave this car here. I'm going to close that. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to Magic Bullet get a nice filter on this because um, I'm gonna put this in the description for you guys to download as a wallpaper uh, which is something cool if you if you like the look of it if you don't like the look of it you don't have to um, phew, chose the wrong layer once again um, so let's just flatten the image I'm happy with how it looks right now um, so I need to do all that and flatten the image there we go and now if we filter this um, every single part will be filtered okay so I've got loads and loads of, of filters basically um, they look, all look sick uh, I'm gonna try and make one get one that kind of shows the colors very well um, it isn't too over the top that one. Oh wow oh yes how sick does that look? Okay, let's do that. Okay, that. And when it finally loads, magic, uh, mallet, uh, magic bullets. Um, it takes a very long time to load and do stuff like that, as you would expect. Because look at what it has brought out in this picture. The colours. Oh, that it looks sick. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really happy with this build. Uh, so I'm gonna save this right now. Um, so if I go back and go to finished, we will be able to save this. Let's save it as S2000. So if we save this as a... Where's PNG? Where's... There. PNG. Let's save it as PNG. Save. So smallest. So And let's go. Okay, so that's finished. I hope you guys really enjoyed this really fun car to make that looks absolutely sick the filters brought out the car uh, hopefully on the next car um, we'll be able to get some nice body kits etc going um, maybe not concentrate on the slammed aspect and clean this uh, just try and get like a nice maybe a drift build or something like that that'd be quite cool and um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this it's been fun uh, in the description below will be this to download to have as a wallpaper uh, and yeah I'll see you guys next time